Mr. Malcolm's list starts off with Julia, played by Zowie Ashton, who vies for Mr. Malcolm's attention. When she learns of his list of requirements for a wife and falls short, Julia takes it personally. She concocts a scheme to have Mr. Malcolm fall for her childhood friend, Selena, played by Frida Pinto, and to have Selena reject him in the same manner. But nothing goes as planned. I think I said in one of my first uh, meetings with Emma Holly Jones, our director, you know, she's kind of like the Regency Bridget Jones in a way. She's She's got society's mm. expectations closing in. Mm. Her mum is giving her the side eye every time uh, a, a, a marital piece of news appears in the paper. And that pressure is very, very real, as you say, and, and modern and relatable. So... I kind of started there and thought, actually, this is a modern problem. And um, if she if she gets a little bit lost as, as the movie goes on, then I, I, I kind of let her off the hook, I think, a bit. People out there in 2022 have a list of, you know, boxes that need to be checked off. You know, what are the two of you? I would love to know the things that are on Malcolm's list. Were there anything on that list that the two of you agreed with? Yeah, I mean, she, we, a kindness of spirit, I think. Yeah. Uh, it was, a, you know, I, uh, a warmth and a forgivingness. I think that's fair enough. That, that I hope, you know, you, most of humanity have somewhere in their arsenal. But then, you know, other things like Malcolm thinks she should be able to play piano like that. You know, I don't <laughs> think it's a little unreasonable. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Mr. Malcolm, there's someone I want to introduce you to. Miss Selena Dalton. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Mr. Malcolm's List originally started off as a short film that was released in 2019. Taking a page from the hit Broadway musical Hamilton, director Emma Holly Jones decided that she wanted a diverse cast instead of traditional white actors for the time period. The full-length feature film followed suit, continuing with Shope Dirisu as Mr. Malcolm and Frida Pinto as Selena. I love, you know, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, and I never could see myself in these roles. So mm -hmm. to see brown people in, in, in roles that I never thought could happen is, is it, makes me, it makes me emotional actually, but it's such a joy. So I would love to, to ask the two of you, you know, what was it like having been on board with this, with this project since the short film, you know, how does it feel to get it get it onto the big screen in in the manner that it has? From the moment that they spoke to me about the project, the opportunity to make people feel the way you do is is like the driving force. When we made the short, there was this woman who posted online that she had cosplayed the Regency era for years and years of her life, but had always felt this slight insecurity that it what she wasn't allowed to because she wasn't white skinned. And the fact that she'd seen the short and then was given the permission to express herself in her fullness is, um, yeah, it's, even I'm getting emotional about it now, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful thing that art can do, you know, that transformative power of it. So like, I'm so, I'm so honored to have been a part of a piece of work that has allowed you to feel that way, to allow her to feel that way. And I hope that we allow the rest of the global majority to feel that way with this film as well. Absolutely. And I, you know, I, I, I think brilliantly answered. I will um, add to what Shopee just said. I'm also very um, heartened by the faith and the trust that the teams behind this mm -hmm. project, the teams that have come on board, um, have put into this film, have invested into this film to make sure that we are being interviewed by journalists from across, across the world and in America as well, to be, to be asked these questions, because I think that's really important. You have an audience, we want to reach your audience. And if someone hadn't believed in this film and you know thought we were not worthy or deserving of the kind of marketing and distribution that we're getting right now, then again, this would, you know, that, that effort, that mass effort that we're trying to have to kind of achieve scale, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it. So really, I think it's a, I feel like all the forces are coming together in just the right way. Mm. I think it's such a good point. Um, I. I felt so proud to uh, to 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 come into an ensemble that feels so representative. You know, we are two of a very true ensemble across this film, and and we, I think and hope, 
have uh, represented the world as it as it is now to portray a, um, a historic tale. And I love the idea that this film can be like a legacy piece, you know, for young people. I grew up watching period drama. I always wanted to imagine myself more and more and more in those visualized spaces um, with, the, with these interpretations of these books, and I was never there. Wish me luck, old boy. I don't think you'll make it. It is time to show Malcolm your list. I do not think Mr. Malcolm is the man you think he is. Seems you have been deceiving me from the beginning. Love cannot be planned so carefully. It will stir things up a bit. That is part of its charm.